Alrighty guys, we're here in Seattle for round 12 of Supercross. We've got more rain. Uh, I don't know, I've not seen the track at all, so I'm excited to go see the track. However, uh, obviously, one man team again, so Kev's back. We're hopefully going to continue progressing. Uh, but yeah, another mutter, so let's go check out the track. You guys are supporting the program, so Absolutely. come around here, I'll let you guys sign the bike. Thank you. Yeah, bring it in. That's some major support right there. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to the vlog. We're here in Seattle. Uh, rainy, as always, and it's going to be an interesting, another mutter. Seems like to be like the, uh, a little bit of a consistency throughout the season this year. But we're going to check out the track and get the day started. Yeah, so you come off the finish line into your lakeside beachfront property right there. Um, it could be worse. The dirt work seems to always work miracles. This place always gets really rutted and grabby and having the soft wetness is just gonna make it honestly probably worse. So, not gonna be as bad as Indy, but it's still gonna be a technical round that you gotta be careful with. It's not as bad as I thought it was. It's, it's gonna also, be slippery, but. But it's also could rain some more. Yeah. The only thing is, like, this track's always soft and ruddy, so, like, grabby ruts, it's going to be even softer now. It's just going to be slimy to start. Pretty much like another finish line. It's like two finish lines together. So this is what should have been a Supercross triple, and they reduced it into a double expecting rain. So they made it a little bit smaller, a little bit safer, just in case if it was in bad conditions. You know, whole shot last year, I don't think it's going to work the same. It's going to be pretty slimy coming down in here. Way close together though, too. Yeah. They look like a big set of whoops. <laughs> the fans to see doubles. Yeah. Hey, they, so when you roll, they wanted roll, roll, to skin double, that double, section double. in Daytona. Yeah. Watch this. Hold my beer, he said. Yeah, I want to be like. 100%. The move's going to be to go try to go just inside or whatever, double, double, and then three over the small little ones. Is that a hot dog? go like two. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Double, three, yeah. and then two. Two. Chet's going to go double, three, three on, off. That's going to be gnarly. That's not a tabletop. Oh, it looked like it from back there. Yeah, it kind of did. So, two, three, what, three, one? Or if you can go the two, two, three, two, you're still landing onto that. Yeah, this is right as you're trying to jump higher. Like point you go you don't want to toot to everything it's gonna be soft you ready for another mutter dude <laughs> yeah for the vlog dude uh, I'm gonna be famous I'm on Kevin Green right, two, three, three, two. yeah if we can get three out of the corner it'll just be three 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 one but I don't think you're by the time we get out there it's not gonna be threeable so I'm thinking probably two three three two yeah. I think it's, it's still going to be ruddy, and because I don't know if you remember this last year, but it was like it would catch you. Oh, yeah. It was really like goofy. Yeah, I think it's like going to be, yeah. Thing. Oh, this? Oh, yeah, you're going to go over. <laughs> I think it's going to get squirrely. Especially if it rains a little bit more and these get slick. That's a steep wall too, and it's pretty tall. But everything else looks simple, like two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Three, two. Oh yeah, going outside and then over. over. Three, three, two. It just depends on how rutted it gets. Have you ever raced here? Uh, I yeah. It's, soft. it's just soft and really grabby rut. So it's kind of like Indy, but not as deep. It's just, it's, but it's still grabby. But I don't know with the rain, I can't imagine it's going to be any better. I mean, dude, it is what it is for everybody. So we're going to have to deal with it. It's less than desirable. Obviously, Supercross just continues to get sketchier when it's wet and there's minimal traction where you think you're going to have traction and then you don't have traction and that's when something bad happens. So. For us, take it what it gives us. We've got two qualifying sessions, no free practice, so go out there, get some solid laps in, and then uh, you know you're gonna ha probably have to put your. I mean, we're 450B. We're the last people on the track. The track's gonna be trashed by the time we go out there anyway. But I see it's probably not gonna get better 
this quickly in between the two qualifying sessions. So I'm assuming your fastest time is probably going to come from the first session, unless they do a ton of work in between 250s and 450s for the second session. So you got to be careful, but you got to go send it. We got some good juju here. You know, with the whole shot last year, obviously that was awesome, not only in the heat race, but also in the main event. So it's obviously slipperier, so that's what I'm really good at is charging harder into the first corner than most other people. So again, that's just going to have to be, you know, take what it gives you kind of deal. Major shout out to this weekend's helper app and probably the biggest part of our program is Champion Tool Storage. They obviously have some of the best tool storage, highest quality in the market. If you guys want to check them out, championbuilt.com. Again, everything that you guys go check them out. Let them know that you guys love that they support the program because obviously this is a big deal for me. So I appreciate you guys. Again, go check it out, championbuilt.com. We get our day started. Lightning rod, energy shot, the throttle bird. Ready to head up for probably one. So you just go inside that zip tie? I should have pushed a little bit more, but I got out front and just ran solid laps. So that's kind of my my mindset was slow down a little bit in rhythms, just hit everything easy and be smooth is going to be better than trying to do one hard lap, pump it up, and then not be able to put in a good lap. So I think we're sitting in, but we got to do better than that. So just again, every time we go out on the track, get a little bit better. Don't get over our head and put ourselves back into the ground. So we'll keep building. Lightning rod, my throttle bird. Alright, time to step it up, and it up for point two.
finished up quite too. Um, not too shabby. I mean, I got out there and I figured out a couple of the triples, so it made it a little bit smoother. Picked up a little bit of time, but the ruts are still just zigzag everywhere, super deep, kind of indie-ish. Like, you got to be really patient and make sure you're in that line. So, found a little bit more of my flow than I've had the last couple times on the bike. So, that's good. Just constant progress, but uh, that puts us in and uh, we'll get ready for the night show. and then at Washougal we'll do a helmet ride. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Yep, 100%. Oh, here. Get one of these, too. Oh, thanks, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bingo. Sick, man. Yep. It's yours, right? Yep. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Before we get rolling, I want to give a major shout out to this weekend's bike branding, which is Transition Bikes. As you can see right here, we have the relay and the repeater on display. The relay is what we use to warm up. Obviously, the repeater is what we just went and ripped this weekend in the trail. So, very, very high quality bikes. Super stoked that they're a part of the program as well. So, go check them out. Transitionbikes.com. Must have. Super fun in the trails. Be sure to check it out. Time has come. Time to go for the night show. A little swig. Ready to go. Heading up for 450 Heat 1. Let's go, baby. Time to get done. Not sure where we ended up. Finally, I did not get a good start. I don't know, I think it just spun. Um, clutch, we put a brand new clutch in there and it felt different. Like I was actually having to ride around in first gear, not second gear. So something felt goofy there, so we'll figure it out. Alrighty, comes down to all the marbles right here. We're heading up to the LCQ. We've got to get a good start. Um, didn't feel super great off the line this last time, so that's what we're going to change this time. We went ahead and moved the forks up to the third line to let me turn a little bit better. So, so we'll get it done in the LCQ.
better start on that one, uh, at least better jump. I just kind of wheelied, which then caused me to clutch. Roxon actually jumped out in front of me. That was a pretty stacked LCQ. So I just kind of tried following him, went through the first section, and then who, I don't know who was in front of me, like stood up really bad in the, the second corner before the first real rhythm section. Um, and it kind of like halted me up, and then it kind of just, uh, you know, a little bit squirrely from there on out. So biggest thing for me, uh, threw another round safe. Obviously, don't want to be a 12th place dude in the LCQ. So, another gnarly conditions, another gnarly track. So, we just got to kind of get back into it. And, uh, you know, we have a dome coming at St. Louis, home round. So, I can't wait to see everybody out there. It was obviously super stoked. Like, we had almost 10 people come by and sign the bike. So, it's been huge. It's helped me put back in the program, keeping father and mechanic employed. So, I appreciate you guys. But, um, yeah, we'll get cleaned up and wrap this up. Not stoked on it, but hey, we got to take it for what it's worth. We're healthy, we're moving forward, and it's time to keep getting better. Alrighty, ladies and gents, that is a wrap here in Seattle. I appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos coming forward. We're working to get back into things. Rest assured, we're doing everything we can to get back in the fight. We want to be a main event guy. I'm not here to be a middle of the pack LCQ guy. So, I'm passionate about this. Obviously, everything we have going on with the team, we have big plans this year. It just kind of fumbled a little bit at the beginning of the year, having a mechanical, but sending us to our head. And then obviously having the second one hitting our head again. Like that stuff's no joke. So we're doing everything we can and coming back within reason. We're not trying to jump over our head again. So again, I just appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys are the ones that make this happen. So again, subscribing, being a part of the vlog, coming by, signing the bike. We almost had 10 people come by and do that this weekend. So that's been huge and to keep us on the road. So if you guys want to as well, Hit those links in the description. It obviously helps the channel. Everything that we have going on, we've got the Air Filters Delivered giveaway. We've got the Hip Bike giveaway for MX Locker. And then, as always as well, Throttle Burst is one that produces this vlog. If you guys want to continue to watch these vlogs, go snag some Throttle Burst. Give it a shot. It's a great energy boost. I love it. I'm sure you guys will too. So, KevinMarans.com to grab any new merch. Also, the program donations to get you entered for the MX Locker Pit Bike. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. It's been another Kevin Morantz vlog. Be sure to subscribe for more and stay tuned for the next video.